of looking forward to the same thing for the Sunday, right? Please welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazeen. <laughs> <laughs> Music is a language that speaks straight to our souls. Can't keep a good man down, can you, Bruce? <laughs> oh, too funny, I love that. Well, the best way to watch the celebs this weekend is with a rockin' Oscars viewing party, so we invited our friend and lifestyle expert, Jamie O'Donnell, to share tips for a DIY viewing party. <laughs> Welcome, Jamie. Hi, good morning. So this table, as always, you always just bring the good stuff. So tell Thank us what we have you. going on here. But here's what I love to do. Because I'm an event planner, I like to take what I do on a grand scale and put it into a way that you guys can do it at home. I love that. And here's what I love the Oscars. Mm -hmm. It's all about glamour and fun and fashion and diamonds. So <laughs> it's just a great excuse to dig into your cabinets and find pieces that you normally don't pull out to use. Mm -hmm. I pull out all your crystal yes. and bring it out. Isn't that great? Fantastic. You gotta Support. bring the glam and the Gotta blade. bring the glam. And you can bring out a tablecloth, a red tablecloth that you had from the holidays. Mm -hmm. Pop that on your table and you have instant glamour. Red carpet. Absolutely. Yeah. And then what I love to do too is theme the food that you're gonna put out to the best picture movies. Okay, that's very clever. Yeah, it's fun. And you know, when it, when you go to the theater, it's kind of all about that indulgence of getting your popcorn, getting Tell your candy, yes. and sitting down and watching a movie. So that's kind of what I created here for you. Okay. Really easy to do. Um, this I'm calling the theory of everything salty and sweet. <laughs> so we would create a, a gourmet popcorn nice. station and you can go out and actually buy different flavor toppings and mm -hmm. then put them in nicer you know shakers and display that for your guests so they can come along and then put out some different candies and pretzels they can make their own popcorn mix to go and take and watch that's in front a of cool the tv idea, know, especially too because i love to mix you know the sweet yeah. and the salty like you said and exactly. to kind of give guests an option of what topping right. that's a really fun idea and, and the then bags of, are really cute and too. of course the nostalgic movie theater mm -hmm. candy you can get that for a dollar a box just about anywhere nice. so. saving money at the same time Absolutely. so that's what we have here yes and then one more tip too on the popcorn mm -hmm. don't think that you have to pop all this yourself. If you go to your grocery store, you can actually order the bags in advance from oh, the deli okay. area, and then you can just pick them up right before your party. So Smart have fresh move. pop popcorn. We appreciate yes. that. We can spend more time entertaining than having <laughs> exactly. to work all day. And then I moved on to Birdman brownie bite. Okay. I like <laughs> why the not? There. Yes, why not? Just have some fun little sweet treats for mm. the people that have the sweet tooth in your in your party. And then let's talk drinks. Okay, ooh, got, there's no party complete without some cocktails, <laughs> no party's right? No party complete without cocktails. All right. And champagne, that makes the red carpet all fancy. All fancy events have champagne, so I love these little pops. And oh, I wow. call them boyhood bubbly. Okay. So you can just, you know, instruct your guests to pop a top, put a straw in it, and there you go. Like, you have... It's like your own personal size little champagne. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And then I love a great cocktail. So we're gonna make a Whiplash cocktail. Okay. Whiplash is one of the best picture movies as well. So this is a really simple cocktail that you can actually just put out for your guests. Mm -hmm. It's simply champagne over crushed ice. Put a squeeze of um, lemon, or sorry, orange peel in there. Yeah, and it then, looks really elegant too. And it's then very nice. exactly, it's a beautiful cocktail. And then you can just pre-pour shots of Cointreau, and then the guests can pour the champagne at their leisure. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to pop yours in there too, of course. Then right. just pour, pour that right on top. And then stir. Ah, I like the little red and white straws to yep. match the theme. And then stir and sip. <laughs> smells really good too. That orange is like really flavorful. Yeah, it's flavoring. a really refreshing cocktail. Mm -hmm. And it's again just kind of fun, makes you feel very refreshing. Happy to too. be at a party. Absolutely. And what would you say, how big of a budget does someone have to spend to do something like this? Because it looks very spendy and glamorous, but I have a feeling it's much cheaper, right? No, it is. It's much cheaper. And you know me, I always try to do things that using things that you already have at home. I never want you to not have a party because you feel like you have to go out and spend a ton of money. Fantastic. So just like I said, this tablecloth I had in my closet from the holidays. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, all the crystal, you, you haven't used it. It's stored in your cabinets. Pull it out. Out. People love it. You know, it gets it's some instant glamour. This is a champagne bucket that yep. I pulled out of the cabinet as well and put all the candies in. Mm -hmm. So you can do it really, really easy. I think probably, you know, I bought some of these platters for less than five dollars at different stores. So and everything else I really already had. Amazing. Well, Jamie, where can people find more information on you? Absolutely. You can find all the party tips and more information on jamieo.co. Perfect. And of course, we'll have more on the dbz.com as well. Thank you Thank again. You. Now we're all set for Sunday.